For all your TCG needs, make sure to check out alphatradingcardgames.com. Hey, what's poppin' everybody? This is Saber054. Got another game with Brickamo, my new deck featuring Conkeldur and Brute Bonnet. I think uh, many people, if they saw Conkeldur, perhaps Brute Bonnet came to their mind as a way to make the deck work. It's not really rocket science. I mean, it's just the way the way Pokemon prints their cards, it's almost too predictable. Like the stuff they want us to do. It's like you use the meta stuff, and if you want to use regular Pokemon, you know, they're all going to suck. Or you got to do like gimmick stuff like uh, what I'm doing here with Conkledur. I mean, it's cute, but it's still not going to be the most effective thing. But I mean, so far so good. We got a, a victory on the previous match against Charizard, spoiler alert. It was really close. I mean, it's always going to be. But it was a good game. And I'm hoping for a good game today as well. My opponent going to open up with Ogre Pond. Very popular thing indeed. And he made me play first. I always want to play second with this deck. And with most decks. But because we got the Nest Balls, I guess it's alright. I'll be getting my guys. And, I mean, it's kind of going to make the Clavel pointless, but maybe, I guess, if he kills the other dude, it's going to work. I'm going to get the Girder as well. Maybe that's bad, maybe it isn't. And just pass the turn. You know, that thing, if we have to evolve into an attacker next turn to make an attack, then Girder is too slow. But at the same time, I don't know how this guy's turn is going to play out. So, might as well keep it. Okay, so another Ogre Pawn is probably going to fill his bench with those if it's the type of deck I think it is. Ogre Pawn, from what I've seen, he's either used in like Reggie Draco, either used in uh, Rage and Bolt as basically fuel for those cards, or I have seen it used on its own for its own deck as a turbo, you know, with the buck catching and the rest of the stuff, but that's about it. I tried to use it that way too in the beginning, but it just didn't work out. It always died in one shot, but I guess uh, maybe my build was wrong. Other people do use it, but on its own, you know, it's not really all that. Especially against my deck here, we're going to have some nice advantage. Because I don't actually care about, you know, attaching energy, so it's always going to do weak damage. Maybe even our terrible HP will work out. Who knows? Maybe not because of the poison, but it just definitely means this guy is just going to be doing 120 damage if he's just going to have 3 energies on. Okay, so I kind of have to let him get another free prize, but we're thinning our deck, we're setting our bench. I made use of Clavel here, and if he doesn't pull the Girder, I am going to evolve into my dude next turn. We're going to draw a lot of stuff with Grusha, and I should see the pieces that I need. So another Nest Ball. Gets another Ogre Pawn down. Man, this guy really just gives me, from the face, from the name, Ogremon vibes from Digimon. I wonder what's going on with that. Uh, I kind of left. Well, I mean, I did watch the Try Digimon anime, but I didn't, I didn't watch the Ghost one yet. Maybe I should. I did plan on watching it, but I just don't have time for everything. It's sad how the Digimon TCG ended up, and it's almost like I have some regrets spending all my money to get the early sets. I mean, I guess if you play formats with the early sets, it should be good, but I definitely prefer how One Piece is right now compared to Digimon. Just more simple. It's still more complicated than Duel Masters. I would have preferred if you just did the Duel Masters rules completely. But, um, it's just, Digimon is much worse. It's just too complicated right now. It's the same thing as Yu-Gi-Oh! Cards with like billions of effects. And yeah, that's all I got. Fast, uh, broken shit. Alright, get the second Among Us just in case. And put the tool on you. And uh, we should be good. I mean, I... I only have you and no, so if I don't see another supporter, we're not going to have much to use next turn to draw. If I see a rare candy, then it's fine. 
because I got the Conkledor in hand. I just got to make sure we can make another attack next turn. And I do see the Canty. Very good. So even if he kills this guy, I can make a response. Will he be able to, though? I mean, it shouldn't be this difficult. Uh, both of the Ogupons have an energy each. So with just a manual and uh, his effect, he can get enough to make an attack. But because I don't have any energy, he's just going to hit me for 120. So he won't be able to kill me, even with the poison, I think. And if I can just get another one hit here with this guy before he dies, then it's game over. So I wonder what he's going to do. I really do. He got them new down, which is pretty much another liability. Even with the resistance, I get an easy one hit KO. Just two more kills on these guys and I got game. Kong Kildur is going to be putting in work again, it appears. So yeah, I mean, obvious stuff is obvious. When you can just hit for 250 turn after turn with just a regular Pokemon, then you're going to have a decent deck on your hands. The problem is, it's just always the consistency issue with these decks. You're not always going to get this, and if you do get your dude out, there's no guarantee you're going to get the next dude on the next turn, when they're going to kill you in one shot. And maybe sometimes you're going to be missing something else. I don't know. Like the capsule. I mean, we do run four. I do have enough ways to see it, but you just always never know. And then, you know, if they start doing Eono when you're like in low prizes too, you can't really do much. You have to get lucky with supporters. Now then, so he's targeting down the uh, Bonnet. I guess it makes sense because if he's not going to get a prize on this dude, you might as well just kill the Bonnet. If he has enough pulling cards, he might just try and kill the other one too. And then I can't do the combo. Uh, this is why, you know, in my deck at least, get, having these extra ones helps. Got a full playset of the Bonnet and the Capsule. I'm gonna go for a Neo No. And, I mean, did I even have to? I got the second Conkeldor. I get my Stadium. Gonna use the shoes, get the candy. I guess I'll keep it. Maybe I don't need to. Maybe it's fine. I'm good with the attackers, I just got to make sure the Bonnet doesn't die. Because if he pulls that, then it obviously resets the poison on Kolkador. So then I won't be able to attack. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So, I do wonder if he's going to be able to do anything. I mean, just four cards in hand. Uh... Like, can you actually pull again? He's going for a super rod. Uh, putting back attackers and only one energy. Actually, the stadium I played just helped him in this case here. I didn't have to play it, but I just wanted to get the card out of my hand. You know, between this, if he just hits me for 120, I will die with the poison at the end. I mean, it doesn't matter. I got the other attacker, I got Rare Candy and Ultra Ball. I just need the Bonnet to survive. Uh, he's running the A spec that just makes you survive with 10 HP. Which is just one of the lesser options, I want to say. It makes sense in this deck because Ogre Pond is going to be dying. So if you're not going to have the Charm plus 50 HP, maybe you might as well have that. I wouldn't, but I see the logic in it. Since we can do poison damage though, status, it just goes through that tool. So it's just irrelevant for me. So grass energy, it doesn't look like it's going to use a pulling card. He's going for the ball. I doubt there's going to be anything in the life. Yeah, never been a fan of that card. It's a way to get, I guess, Pokemon from the prizes, but I just, I don't really see the exchange it's not that good when you play it and you have a big chance to miss it all together. And he is gonna attack the dude. I pretty much did him a favor with my stadium. But it's fine. I'm still gonna kill you with the other Conkledor. And it's basically game. So very nice. 
uh, we're 2 and 0 so far with this deck and yeah just make sure survival brace kind of looks like some Yu-Gi-Oh you know the alchemic cattle from Yu-Gi-Oh GX gave me those vibes but it's pretty much simple uh, I'm gonna get the other stage 2 out too just for the hell of it make the video a little bit longer but really all I gotta do is just activate the poison and attack I mean I could have used boss's orders too but I don't have to go for the attack and we win so pleased very pleased I guess we know we got a, a decent match against this deck too if we don't break so poison damage 250 and that's GG my friend Hope you guys enjoyed the game, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, share the video with your friends, and I'll see you guys next time. Wazay!